subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! This year has been full of up and downs. 2020 will go down in history for the whole world being put on lockdown. Not able to see our loved ones, to do the things we love and experience new places and cultures. The introductions of masks to be worn when out in public. The virus has affected so many people and with any luck we have seen the back of it going into 2021. 2020 has also seen some changes for the better. People are taking their time to enjoy the little things. The feel of the grass on your feet, the feel of walking barefoot on the sand. The great joy of seeing a loved one for the first time in months. What it feels like to be able to hug someone you love. Walking through a forest and smelling the pine needles and breathing in the fresh air. Jumping in the loch or river with no resistance or fear. Saying good morning to people you meet in the street. All these things we have taken for granted. Going forward in 2021, we hope that these little things will continue to make people happy and have a sense of joy. Maybe 2020 was a year for a restart, to give us all a feeling of what actually matters to us. Material things come and go, the latest designer clothing, the newest phones. Do these matter or do we just have them to fill a void and to fit in with everyone else? something perhaps we can discover going forward in 2021. Throughout the world we have so many things to be thankful for. The hard work of our essential workers, working throughout the lockdown to keep this country going. Without a moan or grumble, you worked harder than ever to help us manage all this crazy time. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The care that local people showed for those vulnerable. People reached out and asked if you needed help. This is so encouraging. People looking after people, not for the want of money or gratitude, but for the common fact that people actually care. Starry nights, beautiful sunsets and sunrises, the snow on the mountains, the waves in the sea, these are all free to witness and can be more spectacular than any movie or TV show. The technology we have to allow us to communicate via video calls, see faces of loved ones, when we are miles and miles away. Who also remembers Tiger King? What a great way to start lockdown with an epic TV show. Netflix, we thank you. All the conspiracy theories that kept us up at night going further down that rabbit hole, not able to sleep and chatting about it to whoever would listen. We kept their minds active, us included. Maybe in 2021, these theories will all come to light. The pussy cat dolls got back together. Something I wasn't aware of until I googled what good things happened in 2020 and this came up. Whether or not it's a good thing, that is your call. Both Tom and myself are very thankful for a lot of things. The fact we got to compete in the first ever Feats of Strength series brought to you by the world's ultimate strongman. Managing to stream to all the world our record attempts along with other athletes. Tom getting the heaviest Atlas stone ever lifted in human history of 286 kilos and me just failing the world record log press but getting the British log press of 221 kilos. My apologies Mr Graham Hicks, I'm sure in 2021 the battles that we will have in coming up and pressing that world record log will be epic. We also saw the world's strongest man go ahead in these crazy times. The team at Worlds did an amazing job and we were both truly honoured to be part of this amazing lineup. We hope you all enjoy it when it airs on the 26th of December on Channel 5. The creation of the Stolpen Strength Centre and the people who train there and inspire us on a daily basis. The drive you all have to want to improve is amazing. We are also very lucky to have such a great bunch of members who train daily and grow in strength every day. Are we Simon coming on board? to be the first employee of the Stokeman Brothers. He has transformed our YouTube channel and we are extremely grateful for the five hours of hard work you have put in during these last three months. You must be shattered. Have a nice Christmas day and we will see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. On a final note, we would like to thank every single one of you 
who have supported us. To the message you send us, the comments you leave us, the gifts you send us, it is unbelievably heartwarming. We never in a million years thought that you would be interested in what we do. So from the very, very bottom of our hearts, we thank you. We wish you all a Merry Christmas.